Well, most Calgary families have a computer these days, but one admitted computer geek in the city has 45. He uses them to run a computer operating system gaining worldwide attention called OpenBSD. This week, developers from around the world are in the city to update and improve the system. Najma Yaksan explains what it's all about. This is where Theo Durat stores his computers, 45 machines in all. An air conditioning unit keeps things cool. My electric bill for running this server farm is about $600 a month. And um, I guess I'm probably happy that the police haven't come and checked for a hydroponic farm in my basement. With the help of private investors, Theo oversees a computer operating system called OpenBSD. He says it's similar to the brains behind a website like Hotmail. Many say it's more secure and reliable with some of the cleanest code around. We have a track record now of um, only having had one security hole in the last eight years. These men keep the OpenBSD system updated and bug-free. They've come from 15 different countries for a week of round-the-clock work in Calgary. Bob Beck is with the University of Alberta, which uses the OpenBSD system. We use it mainly for security and for features we can't get anywhere else. Ken Westerback works at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. Some of the DNS servers at the hospital are using OpenBSD and there are some other applications that, you know, I continually bring it up as an option to be considered. Developers say they get more done in group sessions like this one. Easier to do certain things or attack complex problems, for example, because we can put several people together. And Often called computer geeks, these men are actually breaking new ground. Theo says Microsoft Windows has even copied some of their ideas. We'll sometimes accept the, the name geek, but we do not consider ourselves nerdy. Theo says OpenBSD is being used by companies he can't name for security reasons and some individual users who run it on their desktops. Najma Yaksan, CFCN News. And Theo says Forbes magazine met with him this week to profile his work in an upcoming issue. If you'd like to learn more about this operating system or make use of it yourself, you can log on to www.openbsd.org.